for this last video on consonants in English, I want to look at T and D. So T of Toronto, which is voiceless, and D of Douglas or David. So the T is a very common consonant. Uh, I don't know of a language that doesn't have something like a T. And uh, the difference is that they are made in very different ways. So for example, in English, the, the T at the beginning of a stressed syllable or a word is a sharp T. There are different ways to say T, but I'm talking about the sharp T. So t, t, which is voiceless. And it comes, if you have, for example, here are your teeth, there's this little ridge right behind the teeth and the tongue comes up like this and touches t, t. And as it releases, it releases a little air. T, t. So that's the way we make it. Um, I've heard people from India, for example, they would make the contact further back. D, t, t, t. And Spanish speakers, Latin Americans, for example, will make it further forward and with the pad of the, the tongue, not the tip. So, da, da. So, if I say the word table, table, it's the way I would say it. A Spanish speaker might say table, table. And an Indian, I, I don't know how many languages there are, but I've heard it many times, table, table. It's a different form of contact to make that T. So in English, it, it's important to learn how to make it a little bit like we make it because not so much the one that comes back, but the one that comes up with the pad, the Latin American one, can sound close to a TH for us. And it's very soft, so sometimes we don't hear it. So that's the voiced, voiceless T, T. And the D is pretty much the same, D, D. It's just um, a little, no, not so much air, and of course it's voiced. So taught and dot, D. So that concludes this series of videos on Canadian consonants and English consonants. It was lovely trying to explain this all to you on these short videos.